Let's take a look at this problem, taken from the International Mathematical Olympiad 2017. It says, find all functions f that maps the set of real numbers to itself, such that for all real numbers x and y, f of f of x times f of y plus f of x plus y equals f of xy. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. This is a very classical functional equations problem. And speaking of such problems, there are a few questions that um, most people would uh, very much like to investigate. It's the first one is, say, what is f of 0? Because it's very natural to put 0 into, um, um, into those variables and which will um, make things much simpler. So here's the first question. And the second question is, um, what are some possible, uh, possible uh, functions for f? Well, you can, you can try to guess, maybe um, constant functions will work, or in particular, um, if it's a constant function, then uh, let f of x be c, let f of x equals to c, let then c plus c equals c, so c is 0, so f of x, f of x equals 0, the serial function is a solution, and of course there are um, one or two more, and it will take more time to test. And the third question is, what values would give 0 under f? Again, this is a very uh, common question to ask because if we know such values, then we can always repeatedly put this into x or y so that um, some parts will become 0. So of course we can try to put um, both x and y to be 0 and see what happens. then the equation will become f of f of 0 whole squared plus f of 0 equals f of 0. And after cancelling f of 0 on both sides, we will have this. So we know that indeed we can have some values uh, uh, put into f and so we can get 0. So 0 is indeed in the image of, of f. Now the next thing that I would like to do is to try to cancel out some f's because apparently we cannot directly achieve um, the value of f of 0 or directly um, obtain some exact value such that f of that would equal to 0. We only know that it's f of 0 whole squared. Okay, one of them is f of 0 whole squared but we know nothing else. So another approach is to try to cancel out some of the f terms which is that what happens if these two expressions are equal? Is this possible? Here comes the question. And the answer is yes. Is that when x times uh, y minus 1 equals y, we can just simply uh, make x the subject. So x equals y over y minus 1. So from the first two lines, we know that there exists some uh, a, some real numbers a, such that f of a equals 0. We should mark that down. That means 0 is in the, in the image of f. Now, in this case, if x equals a over a minus 1 and y equals a, then the equation would become f of f of a over a minus 1 times f of a plus f of a over a minus 1 plus a, and that will equal to f of a squared over a minus 1. Notice that these two expressions are actually equal, so we can cancel them out straight away. Now that would become f of f of a over a minus 1 times f of a equals 0. Now if this expression is indeed well defined, then we can actually say that if a over a minus 1 is well defined, then actually this expression is valid and so f of because f of a equals 0 so we can say f of 0 equals 0 
Now, if f of 0 equals 0, then I can simply replace 1 of the x, y to be 0. Then if y equals 0, f of f of x times f of 0 plus f of x equals f of 0. We know that f of 0 is 0, so the whole thing will vanish. And this will vanish as well. And so f of x equals 0. So we've obtained our first our first solution, which is that f of x equals 0 is one of the solutions. So we circle that. Now, this can only happen under the condition that a over a minus 1 is well defined. Now, what happens if this expression is actually not well defined? In other words, what happens if a is 1? So we can say otherwise, a has to be equal to 1. So f of 1 equals to 0. So we know that if f is not the constant zero function, then the only possible value that could give um, that could be mapped to zero under f is one. Now, because f of f of zero whole squared, because f of f of zero whole squared is zero, and only f of one equal to zero. We can say that f of 0 whole squared is 1, so f of 0 is plus or minus 1. Now, another thing is, we have to notice that if f is a, fun if f is a solution, then if we claim that if f is a solution, then minus f is also a solution. Indeed, minus f of minus f of x times minus f of y plus minus f of x plus y is actually equal to minus open bracket, f of f of x times f of y plus f of x plus y, and that's equals to f minus f of x y. So we know that if f is a solution, then minus f is also a solution, we give a take. And of course, similarly, minus f um, would also imply f to be a solution. So this is actually um, equivalent. So to combine it with the fact that f of 0 equals plus or minus 1, we can simply consider one of them, and then we find some solution, and then we just take um, uh, minus, uh, minus f as also solutions, and we will, we will obtain all the possible uh, solutions for f. So now, so assume that f of 0, say, equals to minus 1. Now we know that f of 1 equals 0 and f of 0 equals minus 1. And so now we put, uh, say, 1 of the xy to be equal to 1. If y equals to 1, then the equation would become f of f of x, f of 1, plus f of x plus 1 equals f of x. And because f of 1 is 0, so the first term on the left-hand side is f of 0, which is minus 1. So f of x plus 1 minus 1 equals f of x. So we kind of have a linear relation uh, within f. After that, um, it's very natural to think about um, some other properties of f. Say, whether f is um, injective, surjective, bijective, etc. Because we... Uh, kind, uh, we could kind of smell that f could be a linear function. So uh, if we can show that f is injective, then perhaps we can um, say remove some of the f uh, in our original equation because we have a um, double function here. If it's possible to remove one of them, then the whole thing will become much more convenient. So let's see whether f is really injective. Here's the next claim.
So we use the most common way to prove it is that uh, consider some real numbers a and b such that f of a equals f of b. Now, because we have the so-called uh, uh, linearity, we can uh, pick some a and b by simply um, scaling down both both numbers, and we can choose such a and b such that there exist integers r and s. Sorry, so real numbers r and s such that a equals r s plus one and b equals r plus s. The reason that I choose this is that I would like to put values into this part at the top left corner, the original, the original equation, by say x equals r s and y equals one, or x equals r and y equals s. The reason that, that I want to do this is that this part, the right hand side, would then stay constant. So I have something to um, something to uh, cancel out and so to make things easier. Now putting this into the original equation then I will have f of as mentioned above like this then of course I can simplify that into plus f of b equals f of a minus 1. And on the other hand, plus f of rs plus 1 equals f of rs again. Now from the second equation, we can say that um, the first term is f of 0, so it's um, minus 1 plus f of r s plus 1 equals f of r s but apparently this equation won't, won't help us in any way so we can just remove this so may so perhaps we have only one equation to um, to work on now f of f of r times f of s plus f of b equals f of a minus 1 and maybe we can just simply replace uh, f of b by f of a plus f of a equals f of a minus 1 and so f of f of r f of s equals minus 1 and so f of f of r f of s plus 1 is then 0 because of the linearity now because we know that the only possible value uh, to be mapped to 0 under f is 1 so therefore f of r times f of s plus 1 equals 1. So f of r equals 0 or f of s equals 0. Now in that case, then either r equals 1 or s equals 1. But if r is equal to 1, then a and b will both equal to s plus 1. And if s equals 1, then similarly, a and b are both r plus 1. So therefore, a equals b, f injective. And so our claim is true. Now having shown that f is injective, we can try to replace um, some, say, y or x to be a uh, negative of the other and see uh, what we can get now if y equals f of y, y equals minus x then f of f of x times f of minus x plus f of zero because x plus y is obviously zero then this would equal to f of minus x squared And so f of f of x, f of minus x would then equal to uh, maybe I should not simply say this to be equal to something, but 
I should say minus 1 equals f of minus x squared and then I can put the minus 1 inside um, the first term on the left hand side which is f of x times f of minus x and then minus 1 okay because of the linearity uh, property now I have successfully re rewrite, rewritten the, rewrite the equation into um, f of some expression equals to f of another expression so now I, by the injectivity I can remove um, I, I can remove one f on both sides so therefore f of x times f of minus x equals 1 minus x squared so, that, so that's what I've achieved now finally the way to simplify things and to obtain f of x is to see whether we can obtain expression say on f of x times f of 1 minus x because if that can happen then I can simply subtract um, uh, both equations uh, and to simply get f of x because these two these two functions have uh, the value of these two functions have a difference to be 1 so now I'm going to put if y equals 1 minus x and do the whole thing again then f of f of x times f of 1 minus x and then it will be f of 1 equals to f of x minus x squared and so this time things would become much easier because f of 1 is simply 0 and I can directly remove the f on both sides and f of x times f of 1 minus x equals to x minus x squared okay and our dream comes true so we can subtract these two equations we will have f of x to be x minus 1 so under the condition that f of 0 is minus 1 we have found that f of x equals x minus 1 so similarly using a similar argument if f of 0 is 1 then f of x would then just be um, the negation of maybe a minus 1 times x minus 1 which is um, 1 minus x so we have obtained three solutions and uh, we've considered all cases so it remains to check whether all these three functions are indeed valid solutions for this equation now finally final checking if f equals to 0 then both sides are 0 take if f of x is equal to x minus 1 then the left the expression on the left hand side is then f of x minus 1 times y minus 1 plus x plus y minus 1 which is then x y minus x minus y plus 1 minus 1 plus x plus y minus 1 and that is x y minus 1 which is exactly f of x y again take and finally if f of x is 1 minus x then f of f of x f of y plus f of x plus y equals to f of 1 minus x times 1 minus y plus uh, 1 minus x minus y and that is 1 minus x minus y plus x y and then 1 minus the whole thing plus 1 minus x minus y and after simplifying we will have minus x y plus 1 which is again exactly f of x y so take therefore our solutions are f of x equal to 0 f of x equals x minus 1 or f of x equals 1 minus x so yay we are done i hope you enjoyed the video feel free to suggest any alternatives in the comments if you like my videos make sure to subscribe to my channel right now thank you for your support see you next time